Okay, it's uh, 3.05 and we have the PSE up at uh, 7388.09 or 84 points from the previous day, 1.15% up. Tingnan natin yung mga indicators. Ha? Yan, so nag-bounce po siya, no? And yung MO100 is acting as our support. Yung uh, market summary naman, 121 companies advanced, 76 declined, while 41 remained unchanged. The All Share Index also advanced 0.97%, almost flat, or tumakas naman ng konti. All our sectoral indices are in the green, and this was led by mining at 4.83. Yan po. And then... Yung sa market status naman, uh, tingnan natin, no? we'll uh, be reviewing the following, si ICT, SCC, mining to, no? Tapos tingnan natin si, yung mga nag-green, no? SMPH, and then SPNEC, tingnan natin si TEL, at saka si Nickel, Nickel na lang. Okay. Ngayon, before we get to uh, our review, I, uh, I missed this uh, earlier, no? Tumataas pa ang presyo ng ating uh, produkto ng pet petrolyo. Soaring pump prices could even go higher, says Energy Department, dahil po sa conflict between Russia and Ukraine, no? The markets are getting jittery and also Russia is also a producer of oil. It's uh, putting pressure on the prices of uh, the price of oil no so ang sabi nila yung prolonged conflict may crude prices may hit to 120 dollars per barrel okay and then we also before we proceed meron din question C visa assistance ano po ba ang effect ng block sale sa stock price okay visa assistance um tingnan niyo po muna yung background there on what is a block sale ano dahil nandiyan po sa aking uh, blog meron po akong uh, video tungkol po diyan doon nandoon po sa description tingnan niyo po yung number number 5 ano yung basics of the block sale but uh, to quickly answer your question halos wala po halos wala pong effect yung block sale kasi Ang advantage lang po kasi ng block sale, you can give a maximum of 5% discount. No? Kasi bulk yan eh. Maramihan eh. Siyempre kung maramihan, mas mura ng konti, di ba? And according to PSE rules, you can only give a maximum of 5% discount based on the previous day's closing price. Okay? Mga halos 5 to 10% ang movement, ang volatility ng nung stock prices eh. So, halos wala yan. No? Kasi, if you will execute now the block sale, kailangan yung sale price mo should be based on the previous day's closing price of that stock. Okay? Yun lamang po. At uh, yung block sale kasi, ano yan? May approval po yan ng PSE at saka meron pang isa. Okay? So, hindi basta-basta mo ma-execute yan. No? So, yun po ang aking masasabi. Halos wala pong effect. Okay, so let, now let's go to the PSE. No? And the PSE, I, uh, okay, reviewin na po natin yung uh, mga stocks ninyo. ICT muna. Yan, nag-search ulit. No? And it is a breakout. No? At meron po siyang dividends. Tingnan natin yung dividends niya. Yan. So, it's 44 centavos. I suppose this is um, a special one, ano? And cash dividends of 556. So, this is the first dividend payment for the year. So, computing po natin ang dividend yield ni ICT, ha? And ICT is one of the index stocks which gives good dividend yield, ha? So, divided by 228. So, 2.6% yung unang dividend niya na binigay for the year huh? and it's not bad ha huh? kasi ICT gives one in August 
and he gave one in March. So, dalawa akong magbigay yan. So, 2.63% times 0.90. So, that's so that's 2.3%. Not bad. Maganda na rin yan, ha? Okay, so yung ICT now surged, ha? Kasi you get capital appreciation also pagka hindi lamang po dividends. Pero maganda rin po ang dividend doon na ni, ni International Container Terminal. Ha? So, ang pinaka-support po natin dito, following the parallel channel, ano, is EMA 50. No? And the resistance based on the parallel channel is 228. Actually, resistance point na po ito. And uh, yung susunod po niya ay... Hindi ko nang po masabi dahil uh, 52 week high po ito. <laughs> Tingnan nyo po. Ganda, no? Yan po si ICT. At uh, patuloy po tumataas at uh, bullish po si ang stock na ito na merong RSI na 64. Okay, SCC ang susunod. Umaharangkada din siya, oh. And then the second day of a breakout. Kasi yesterday, breakout na po. Ngayon, breakout. Ako, 52-week high to. 32.70. So, you just ride the trend, ano, here. At uh, tingnan natin kung ano yung resistance niya. Okay, resistance level na po. But the next resistance, based on a weekly chart, nandito po sa 38.81. So, patuloy po tumataas si SCC. And, uh, Maganda po ang kanyang news, ano? At um, just ride the trend if you're holding the stock, ano? Until it reverses. Okay? So, basta ride the trend. But make sure you have a stop loss, ano? A trailing stop, ang tawag po dyan. And uh, usually, support level yung nilalagay po nila. Kung trailing stop po, ang suggestion ko po lang, ay yung 20-day exponential, yun pong gawin yung trailing stop, ano? So, suggestion ko lang po yun, ano? And uh, this is not financial advice. Okay? So, ang trailing stop mo dito, in this case, would be 27. Yan. Okay? Yan ang trailing stop mo. Okay? And then, after SEC, SMPH. Si SMPH naman, naku, moving sideways lang. Pero pataas pa rin po ang kanyang mga indicators. So, it has been moving that way since February 21. So, one week na po siya. Ganito, no? So, kung titingnan po natin, if we will draw a short box or a Darvas box, medyo ano lang to. Short term lang po ito, no? So, 39 ang kanyang... 40 yung kanyang um, resistance and uh, 38 or 37 yung kanyang support. I-weigh nyo po, no? Kung you will buy on support and sell on resistance ay i-weigh nyo po kailangan po yung inyong uh, risk-reward ratio is 2 is to 1. Your reward is 2, your risk is 1. Okay? Pero pataas pa rin po si SMPH and um Yung RSI niya is bullish at 58. Then, SPNEC. Yan. Tingnan natin si SPNEC ay 213, gaining 2 centavos, 0.95. Okay, just moving sideways si SPNEC. Yung kanyang support nandito po, kasi piercing through yung EMA20 on the short term po, no? 184, resistance is 230. Support and resistance po, hindi po yan exact points, areas po yan. Okay. And then, after SPNEC, tingnan natin si TEL. Maganda yung trade ko dito kanina. Uh, actually, I just started after lunch. Ano? Nung lumabas po yung dividendo, bumili na ako sa aking broker. No? And then, I sold at exactly the closing price. Actually, ang selling price ko po is uh, lower than that, pero nag-close po siya higher. Kaya po, Sa 18.30 po, ako nakabenta with a profit of about 4% for the day. Not bad, di ba? So, it's just moving sideways. And uh, dahil tumahas po ito, meron po siyang cash dividend. Hindi pa nagre-reflect dito yung cash dividend eh. Pero it's a 44 centavo cash dividend. Hindi natin kung nasa news. 
yeah, no? PLDT post 182 billion revenues in 2021. No? So I think this is record. Highest for the full year ever attained in 2021. And uh, meron pa siyang cash dividend na 44 pesos. Okay? Tignan natin yung cash dividend niya. Material transactions. Eh. So, X date is March 14. This is common stock. And um, 42 pesos per share. Yan. Okay. So, yan po si PLDT. And yung support po niya ay ito po. M100. 1745 1740 to 1745 resistance is somewhere here nasa 19 1930 to 1940 po ang kanyang resistance so maganda po ang PLDT and if you're long term if you are a long term investor you can never go wrong finally we have nickel si nickel yan Dire-direcho siya pataas. Talagang malakas yung kanyang trend. Kumpitin nga natin yung kanyang um, earnings. Kung nag-hold, nag-start po kayong mag-hold from this part. So, 33 bars, meaning 33 trading days. So, 59% po ang kinita nyo. And it keeps going up, no? Okay. So, nickel... 52 week high na po pero ang pinaka support po niya na na break before tingnan natin yung uh, one week chart ito po eh ito po yung pinaka support niya eh. uh, resistance rather na naging support yan so tanggalin natin yung gawin natin one day yan po resistance naging support 621 and after that dire diretso na po siya pataas okay and then the stock is also overbought at uh, 78 so if you're holding on to nickel okay lang yun just just hold it make sure that you have a trailing stop on nickel and again my suggestion is to use the 20-day exponential or the 20-day mathematical average no pwede na rin yung ano hindi naman kailangan exacto basta uh, sumasabay sa trend yung trailing stop nyo ay that that would be fine yan po ang ating report sa stock market March 3, 2022, ito po si Benji Chidoro, nagpapaalala, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay. Hanggang sa muli, take care, God bless, bye for now.